amazing. <laughs> really, wow. Good morning internet, it is 20 past 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Blith, Blyth, I don't know how to pronounce it, still in California in the United States. And today is going to be another big day, I still haven't decided exactly on my route. Either way it's going to be a long day, so uh, let me quickly show you kind of what the plan is on the map. And then I'm off to find some breakfast because uh, there's, there's no breakfast here. So to the map! Still haven't... Uh, indicated that the uh, state borders sorry but i was so exhausted when i arrived here and actually i didn't want to stay longer here <laughs> i mean the room is fine to sleep for one night but i didn't want to stay here the whole day uh, editing and working so that's why i'm gonna move on today already um so yeah i was so tired that i didn't do that yet so yeah i have no idea if you can actually see anything on here um but um Wait, uh, I don't know if this map is gonna last me <laughs> very long anyway. Um, here is California. So I rode from San Diego whoo, through the desert and everything and I'm right over here. And today my plan is to go back again <laughs> a little bit this way and then ride through the Mojave National Park and then end the day somewhere here. So yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like a lot of progress, which well, I guess it isn't. But I want to make this loop here and, and see all of this as well. So that is the plan. I have the key. Thank you. Have a great day. Safe drive. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to look for a place to have a breakfast um, that is not a big chain because you just get um, yeah, kind of the same places everywhere, right? You get McDonald's and Pizza Hut and Subway and Jack in a Box. I didn't know that one. But everywhere is the same, the same things. And it's, of course, all fast food. It's not, not very great. Let's see, Taco Bell, Burger King, Denny's. I've never heard of Denny's before. Maybe it's also a chain, I don't know. <laughs> Today. Good to you. Good. My name is Jolene. I'm your server today. And you're ready to order? Yeah. I like to order the lumberjack slab. How would you like your eggs? Uh, just some slab. Thank you. I'll be right back with that. Thank you. Oh dear. Where? <laughs> Put this. This is a lot of food. This this should last me the entire day. <laughs> Pancakes, fruit, and all of this. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that was obviously way too much food for me. I lost quite a bit of time on that breakfast too. I had to wait uh, quite long. So it's now already 20 to 9. Oh dear. It's gonna be a long day. It just amazes me like how a small town like this, because this is not a big town. Why is the road so wide? <laughs> Everything is so big here. The roads are huge. All the cars are huge. Everything is big. The portions are enormous. <laughs> it fascinates me. Look at this. <laughs> People are hanging their shoes here for some reason. Why are they doing that? Look, there's more. Maybe this used to be a, a petrol station. And now it's... <laughs> How did they even... How did we even do that? Well, I'm not going to uh, hang my shoes here because I only have one pair and I need them, but maybe there's some deeper meaning behind this. <laughs> I don't know. And in the desert I go. See, I'm riding parallel to some uh, train tracks here.
Oh, here's a train. I don't know where it's going. Seems to just be standing here. I think I've al almost reached the paved road. I think this must be this must be paved again. I'm supposed to uh, cross the railway tracks here. But uh, how? <laughs> How on earth <laughs> am I gonna get to the other side? Maybe I've come too far. Now there's no way you can cross here. That's a bit of a problem. I think a bit further down this way than still. Yeah, it's here. It's here, but there's a there's a train on top. See? This is the crossing. Go further back then. Maybe there's another another crossing without a train on top. Could I fit underneath that? Maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe I should just go underneath. Oh, it's very tight. No, I don't think so. A little bit down there, but I'm a little bit too tall. Just, <laughs> just a few centimeters too tall. Of course, now I got myself stuck in deep sand. That was a bit of a struggle, but I got out. The search continues to cross the railway. Maybe here. No. There is no way. I'm just backtracking now. Oh yes, here, 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 finally. I have reached the paved road and well, not any road. <laughs> I've reached Route 66. How about that? The famous Route 66 and uh, well, I'm not going to ride the whole Route 66. Alaska is not really the type of motorcycle suitable. If I one day ride the whole Route 666, I promise you, I'll do it on the Harley Davidson. The Harley Davidson is not really my kind of motorcycle. 
but it would be the only motorcycle I would ride the full length of this road with. I really, really need fuel. And I think there was supposed to be fuel here. I don't see it. Let me ask this guy. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you know a petrol station anywhere here? How, how much gas you got left? Not one bar. Okay. <laughs> I know there's um, a place down here, but it's really expensive. That's okay. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I don't know. Like sometimes they're only open on busy weekends. Ah. Uh, okay. If you go down here, maybe ten minutes. Ten minutes. Better. Okay. Now yeah. I'll make this. It's called uh, Roy. Roy's. You can't miss it. It's like okay. A hotel. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Where are you from? Uh, the Netherlands. Oh well. Yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing here. Are you alone? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I just came from, well, it says closed. Yeah. But I came from there. It's beautiful. Over there. <laughs> yeah, it's Are beautiful. Are you going to go to the Joshua Tree National Park? I was there yesterday. Oh, okay, awesome. Amazing. Do you need a water or anything? No, I still have. Okay. Thanks, though. Awesome. Thanks. Maybe Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? I'm going back home towards Yucca Valley, Joshua Tree area. Oh, you live there? Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's a beautiful area to live. If it's not open, we can always I can always give you a tow somewhere if it's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should make ten minutes, I should make yeah, it. I'll, I'll follow you there and hopefully they're okay. Open. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it looks like I'm back out of in civilization. Suddenly there's all these cars. I hadn't seen anyone. <laughs> that entire stretch where I came from. There was nobody. And now that I passed here, I saw that there was a sign saying road closed, but I just came from there. So I was getting a little bit worried about fuel, but uh, I should be fine now. Ah, there it is, Roy's. Thanks, man. Yeah. It looks like it's expensive, but hopefully I don't get you there. What's your name? Thanks. Noralee. Noralee? Noralee. Noralee. Yeah. I'm David. Oh, are you saying the price? Yeah. That's going to be expensive. Unleaded seven, $7.7 .7 per gallon. Yeah. That must be a record. What are you going to do? But hey, I need, I need it, so. That's a great car. Do you know what car that is? Well, maybe a Corvette. Wow. But they, but they, it's closed off then. Yeah, it got washed out by oh. some storms. Oh. Maybe six, eight years ago. They haven't fixed it. It's been closed for. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's been closed for a very long time. So you can't actually ride the whole I, Route 66. I'm not, wow. I'm not sure, you know. Because oh. I have a Harley, so I don't go past the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. For oh. fingers, you can, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, nice to meet nice you again. You. Thank travel. you so we'll much. Look for you. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, I've never seen in any country like the nozzle so short here in the States. Everywhere else in the world, it's it's like do, uh, twice the length? the length. Yeah. Oh. And and also the system of pulling this up, I've never seen that before. Well, that's because like it keeps it from overflowing. Yeah. And having spills, so it's like more of an emer it's more of a safety, safety thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right now I'm kind of bypassing the safety factor, but it's all right because I have to, I've got control and I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, of course, if you put use it in a car, you push this against the. Yeah, you just shove it in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah cool. Perfect. Thank you so much. Off I go. The road's closed here too. I wanted to go to um, that volcano over there. But now I don't know if I can. Because that over there is the Amboy Crater, which is a really awesome volcano. There's a trail going there. But to reach that, I have to go a little bit on that uh, big road. And that's closed, so I can't go there. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna turn around and uh, I'll continue towards the Mojave National Park then. Look at this. I'm on my way to those dunes over there. 
Those are the Kelso dunes, Kelso sand dunes. And uh, I believe they are the biggest aeolian sand deposits in the United States. So that means uh, sand dunes that are created by wind, that are formed through wind action. Now I'm heading straight towards the dunes. Sight, what a sight! Oh, this is as far as I can, I can go. Unfortunately, <sighs> what a sight, right? <sighs> really spectacular. And so these dunes are here because, for thousands of years, wind has picked up small grains of sand from the Mojave River sink. I think from the southwest from here and the wind carried these grains until it hit the mountains and then just dropped them here and you get the light color because the grains consist of feldspars and, and quartz uh, because it got eroded from granitic mountains and so that's why it has this beautiful light color. What a place. I think they also call this the singing dunes. Apparently they can make a singing sound. I don't know why that is. At the moment there's no wind at all, so I don't hear any singing, do you? I hear nothing. Well, I'm wearing earplugs, so. <laughs> okay. Let's continue the awesome ride through the Mojave Desert. That is, of course, very fine. That's why the wind was able to pick it up. It's uh, not allowed to fly a drone here, by the way. So I won't do that. Okay, this is getting a little bit rocky. This would have been <laughs> a little bit tricky to ride. This really is a walking trail. So, do you know what I'm on my way to see? Something which is called a lava tube. And it is super cool. I have never seen one before. And that's a lava tube. Awesome. But yeah, there's probably several around here. Wow, this is it. I see they put a ladder here. <laughs> amazing, amazing. This is so cool. Wow. This is amazing. It's huge. It just goes on all the way down there. Let me see if I can make some light doesn't really help. <laughs> so lava tubes form when the top of a fluid lava flow that is contained in a channel solidifies and it kind of creates a roof over this tube and that happens because the top of the flow that loses heat the quickest and so eventually the lava empties out of this roofed tunnel leaving behind a lava tube. <laughs> Amazing right? And then yeah part of the roof has collapsed here that's why I can enter it. Amazing. <laughs> really, wow. Look at this. But there's tons of them here. I don't know if this is the biggest one. Maybe there are more. Look at this landscape. You can just see the black lava flows in the landscape. I'm so happy I found it. I was really disappointed <laughs> I couldn't get close to the Amboy crater because it's a cinder cone volcano and 
I really want to check it out, but anyway, I can't have it all. This is really awesome too. And here, in the Mojave Desert. Incredible. Okay, it's getting proper hot out now. <laughs> Especially here where you're surrounded by all these dark black rocks. They take up so much heat. I have never in my life seen such long trains as here in the United States. Check this out. Look how massive these things are. Are you counting? <laughs> Here's one, let's do a contest. <laughs> <laughs> so I finally found a place to stay. Uh, I spent about 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, looking for a place to stay. I think I have to change my strategy in the United States a little bit because the first place that I tried, it cost $200 per night. <laughs> I was like, what? It's also apparently a lot cheaper if you book online. So normally, of course, I never like to make a booking because I want to be as flexible as possible and I don't really want to plan much but I think now I just need to make bookings because A it saves a lot of money and B I know what it costs beforehand. Anyway different story I found a place to stay now so that's good I'm gonna stay here for a few nights and catch up on my editing uh, but <laughs> what a day again oh it was amazing yeah it was absolutely amazing and somehow completely unexpectedly the whole day kind of the theme of today was trains and especially the last bit i was so glad that i saw that train and all the time i kept catching up with it and sometimes i had to cross it and then i was riding on the other side again and i think i rode together with that train for what would it be 25 no more i think 40 kilometers <laughs> The whole time together it was just really entertaining especially because i was getting a little bit tired and it was just tarmac 
So otherwise I would be a little bit bored, but now uh, I was kept occupied by this uh, train guy <laughs> who also kept waving and honking at me. So it was really, really fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, other than that, the scenery was amazing again. The riding was just awesome. I had another blast of a day today. Second day and it was amazing. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.